back after a tough one the other day in Miami. Robles goes after the first pitch. And one away. Sean was giving the Padres six innings. Hasn't quite been the case as of late. As Alex Call takes a little bit up, 1-0. And as you said, kind of a weird one against the Marlins the other night for Sean. This is the time of year. Once in a while, that kind of thing pops up. Well, Andy Ashby said on the pregame, we're saying changing the eye level by pitching up in the strike zone. Fun to watch him work when he's going right. There's a strikeout. Good changeup from Manaya. And for the next day, to score a free dog or cat toy with an eligible purchase, visit petco.com slash Padres K9 for details. 20 hits in his first 16 big league games, the first national to ever do that. Attempting to add to his total here, but Jose Azokar can cover an awful lot of ground. And it's you a cheese guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You? Yeah. Goop. Nelson Cruz swings and misses. And an eye in front, 0 2. Good to see the return of the whiff on that elevated fastball from Sean. Got a couple. Loud but foul. Cruz 3 out of 12 in this series. He has struck out six times in the first three. Get West. Hard hit. And right at Brandon Drury. Easy enough. Strike one to Lane Thomas. Of the day for the Nats against Joe Musgrove and the Padre bullpen. He got himself another hit here as he goes to the opposite field. And a one out single for Washington. Cesar Hernandez. That'll go into center field for a base hit and back to back singles against Manaya here with one out in the second inning. Thomas stops at second base. A bunt certainly on the Padres' mind in this particular situation. And swinging away, CJ sends it down the line foul towards the left field corner. Skies that one towards right. And Juan Soto is there for the second out of the inning. Not eye popping numbers, but both sides of the ball. Grounds it sharply to Manny. He'll go the short way, and the inning is over. So, no problem. Sean Manaya back to work, facing Il DeMauro. Four out of nine with a homer and a double against the Pods. Trying to bunt his way on, and well foul. Manaya in front of him, 0 and 2. And he gets him. That's paint, and the second strike. Sean using the minty green glove. A ball and two strikes now. Let's see. The, the green one, like the Oakland A's, because it's like a toothpaste color. Nice. Yeah, minty. His car is named Sasha. His bike is saltier on just about all of the fun <laughs> in the clubhouse. Feisty Tom. Yes. <laughs> Sharply to short. Kim's got it. And two for the Padres. Get a Kim piece of it, a little bit easy to miss on first glance, you know, kind of realizing, hey, I might not have. I believe they call that chaos baseball these days, as call skies one to Kim. Kind of a weird sky, but no problem. Hang out with us here this inning. We'll see how long Manaya gives us. But uh, first of all, the question on everybody's hand, mind is, how is the hand? It's great. <laughs> uh, the barehanded play was a little more of a, a reaction, a little more impressive play to me. Joe, I've been talking about it uh, all morning long. Born, but 1989 against Ozzie Smith, he had a barehanded play down the left field line. Oh, yeah, I'll never uh, forget that. And, 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 um, but yeah, he was always around. He was a good mentor for me and uh, very supportive. Oh, my. Nelson Cruz has found metal all the way up off the facing of the top of the building. And the first run of the day will go to the Nationals. 1-0 here in the fourth. You made a comment last night, Joe, 
after the game that I think really stood out to me, and it was sort of, you know, the mentality. It starts to become every game is a, is a must win. You know, you start taking that approach at this time of year, and we're making that final push in the last, what, 30 plus games. Um, so you don't, you try not to add extra pressure, but focus and, um, you know, really taking things one out at a time and just take that as far as you can into the game. Joe, I know that. Uh... Yeah, it's tough. Wins are hard to come by right now. Um, you know, I think it's been almost two months since I've got one. But I always look at the quality. Team, uh, nice to see Josh Bell get it going last night. I, I know that meant an awful lot to him. Yeah, I, I played with Josh in Pittsburgh for a couple of years um, in the cage and his preparation, game planning and stuff. So it's just a matter of time for him. And coming to a new team, you might add a little pressure on yourself. Season, so. Well, Joe, you just look at it, uh, this team. A little bit lately, it's felt like we've gotten the pitcher with his back against the ropes, and, you know, we're almost putting more pressure on ourselves to get the fourth inning after the Cruz home run. The Nats have gone in front 1-0, and that could end the inning. Kim gets the hop, and a big thank you to Joe Musgrove for, for spending some time. That I uh, never got the chance to show what they were capable of. Been around a couple of those guys on that roster. Marquise on a lot of really good teams. That's a little topper, going to be a tricky play. Picks it up in fair ground, and Alfaro! And some fun defensive moments last couple of days here as Trace Barrera goes after the first pitch, and boy, another quick couple of outs for showing absolute gas. And then the Bugs Bunny changeup. So it's one of those guys who was pitching. There were some guys that came up with a couple cramps to not get in that lineup. So you got a lot of starts against Pedro. Uh, it's not, it was not a comfortable at bat. Not a comfortable looking swing from Vargas there. How many great performances he's had in Montreal. That was the first introduction to me of this is a level that is even further from the good one. The left-hander that I never had to face, which was good. Unbelievable talent and also intimidation factor for those guys. Another quickie. For Obviously, all three of those are integral parts of their club. They said mid-September, possibly, for Clayton Kershaw. Use pitchers in different ways, particularly once the calendar turns to October. One mistake, Nelson Cruz hit a long way, and that's the only run of the day so far as the Padre. That is skied and fighting the sun. Kim will make the catch. <laughs> Hand on his hip, blowing a bubble, just waiting on Kim to make the catch. Well, the only thing Manny didn't do is put his glove up like he was going to catch. Hey, that's an extra rep against the sun, right? Track it. Just off the plate. One and one to Alex Call. Manaya trying to ask. The Nationals are playing a really odd stretch of ski. A very unfamiliar opponent. Skied out to shadow left and. Defensive plays made in the last two days here have really been something. I know you get to do it, Jesse, but I think. Uh... Out to left field, Profar going to watch, and it's off the top of the wall. Jerkson plays it perfectly. Maness is trying. But Sean Manai is out there for the seventh inning again. It had been a little while, and he looks like his old self today. Well, what me in the top of the fourth. Myers over towards the sidewall. He cannot pull a Kim. That one's about 10 rows up. He has not thrown more than 12 pitches in any inning this afternoon. Really indicated to the Nationals they have to go on that attack early in the count. Nice change up there to Cruz. It was perfect just off the plate. Full count now, three and two. Those have been uh, very few and far between today. As Manaya has just now gone over his pitch count from his last start. And that is on wow. the outside corner strength recall. 
But that was a surprise call to the veteran right-handed hitter. Lane Thomas goes after the first one, sends it to deep center. Uh, Zokar races to the spot. Two away. Cesar Hernandez thinking about a bunt. It's a beauty, and it's another base hit. He has been a stretch a single into a double. Abrams after the first one into left field. Profar is there, and for the fifth time. Thank you.